Vietnam um, for the second time uh, we are going to be attempting uh, round nine of the AM1 Vietnamese Grand Prix for season six um, first time was shrouded in controversy uh, entire lobby glitched out about 25 percent through the race uh, so we had to had to call it a couple months ago but we're back and we're better than ever um, typically when you're perusing the streets of Hanoi uh, at this time of the evening you're up to no good but uh, I think tonight we're gonna get some pretty exciting racing uh, I am Kid and Petter uh, from beautiful southern Illinois joined as always from or by Bodhod who is from the fictional state of Australia and upside down and ups well that's what they want you to think theoretically yeah. But you never know, do you? You really don't. I mean, I haven't left Australia, so I wouldn't know. I don't. I, so. Yeah, you're actually in Argentina. <laughs> you're actually in Argentina right now. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, I it's been fed lies my entire life, but exactly. Um, I guess that's something for me to discover. Um, things got dig quickly there. Um, back to racing. This is going to be a fun one. <laughs> yeah, um, looking forward to it. I, I, it. Yeah, it is, and uh, definitely not a fan favorite um, since we've. Last been in Vietnam, that was round nine. We're on round, what, 16 now? So it's been a while. Uh, but uh, it is, uh, it's been confirmed that Vietnam won't be on the schedule next year. Uh, so, you know what? This might be our one and only chance to see Vietnam in all of its glory uh, with pretty much zero redeeming value uh, in the game. <laughs> Uh, Dresa, Dresa says hello uh, in the comments. What's going on, Dresa? Uh, Juventus is already retired. I think that was an incident through the S section in Sector 3. Is JCK first one to settle lap 36.5 on the mediums? Um, there Dresa, are not... a lot of places to put it into the wall, so yeah, might be the only one. Yeah, it is difficult. This is one of those tracks you got to practice for a lot. Uh, you don't have the muscle memory around here, and uh, the fact that it's not very fun to drive in the first place... This really does not help with that. Um, Alp with a 32 night. Jesus. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess Alp's here to play tonight. Um, 20, <laughs> 32 nine. Uh, I'm going to ride along. I believe Nicholas is on a hot lap. There we go. Through sector three. He comes. Um, Teresa won last week in uh, what was a real uh, race of the year uh, nominee, I would say. A contender across all categories um, a wet to dry race in Saatchi uh, absolutely fantastic stuff uh, from Dresa winning by one thousandth of a second after Bean and Fenrique came together coming out of the last corner uh, it was uh, something to behold um, but uh, Dresa he uh, not sure if he's gonna be filling in much more this year um, Forza Fredo uh, he has vacated his seat uh, as I think that we all kind of expected him to, he hasn't been making too many races as he is focused on the uh, the Contest of Speed iRacing team uh, run by Katie uh, with some other folks from around the league and elsewhere. Uh, they are coming to you live on Sundays on the Contest of Speed app. Give them a little plug. Uh, but, yeah, I I think he's he's been replaced by uh, Honda. Honda M1, who is right now in P2, pretty strong from him for a debut lap, a 33-3, only four tenths off of the two-time defending champion Alp, the Turkish missile. Um, he is from Canada, I believe, and he is joined, uh, because unfortunately Perry had to vacate his seat due to some uh, connection issues. I think he also uh, picked up a new job or something like that. Uh, you might know more about it than I do. Uh, but he, even though he's been having a pretty good run of form recently, uh, he's going to have to uh, to vacate for the rest of the season, and that'll be filled by Mitch, uh, Mitch Burns. I guess I should probably say that, uh, not the not the normal Mitch that we know, who uh, is also not racing at the moment, but he might be lurking around in the comments somewhere. Uh, yeah, he's, he's pop up here and there, which is good to see. He's still involved in the community, even though not on track these days. But yeah, Mitch Burns, he'll probably um, he'll probably be in that mid um, mid points fight, I think. Do you have experience with? Do you have experience with these guys? Because I've I've never seen or heard of, um, of either of them before. I've seen Honda around in a couple of leagues. He's got some good pace. Um, we'll probably see him around about 
um, maybe the Arbar Lopez kind of area. Okay. Uh, Mitch will probably be around about where, say, um, Berzy, Fader, those guys may be fighting uh, for a couple yeah. of points. Formula 1.5 um, or contest. I mean, 1. I've, 1. I haven't seen too much of him, so um, we'll see what kind of impression they can make. Um, Honda looks pretty good already in P2 currently. Uh, I yeah, think a lot of guys haven't really set laps. I would expect most of these guys to kind of be um, kind of mid high 34s to low 35s. Um, Paul will probably be around about mid high 32. That's actually a pretty good time from Elf there. So I guess we'll wait and find out. Um, the two Renaults have put in a good time as well. Um, to start with, obviously, four and six for now, but um, these times are, times are continuing to drop as this, as you mentioned, requires a lot of practice. You really need to find a flow and rhythm. Um, there's a lot of corners. Um, so to get a really good lap in, you kind of have to nail all of them. It's quite difficult, uh, particularly when the margin for error is so small. So we should expect to see some of these times drop, but a couple of guys looking pretty nice already. Um, finding a bit of a group. Yeah, especially... Um... It's really interesting because I'm, I'm sure these guys really put in hours worth of practice a couple months ago for, for round nine. I wanted to have that canceled, and, and I don't think that too many of them uh, probably haven't spent that much. I know the Americans probably for the most part with it being Thanksgiving tomorrow, um, uh, and this was a scheduled off week. Uh, they might be a little little rusty around here. Uh, I'm not going to speak for them, though. I've been seeing a lot of guys practicing this week, but... Uh, all in all. Yeah, early on in the calendar as well, so a lot yeah. of guys probably have maybe done a league race or two around here, but um, possibly had a fair bit of a break. Um, for those leagues that do go in calendar order, um, which is not contest of speed, so um, we are probably going to see a fair bit of familiarity. Probably a fair few end plates um, scattered around the track um, as these guys try and find the limit. Um, sort of the back of steroids, and we know how difficult that can be for racing, um, as well as setting just setting hot laps, so um, it's going to be probably whoever can keep their nose cleanest um, is probably going to get a really good result. Um, yeah, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, oh boy, and Arbar just about smacks the wall. I believe he is the uh, first one of the front runners here to be on a uh, on a second hot lap. Okay. But, uh, oh yeah, I think he, he bailed. Yeah, he almost lost that uh, front right suspension there. Um, Alp, I believe. Let's see who's further along. Honda, we can ride along with him, number nine. Um, doing pretty good. Uh, Matty Rabo in the comments saying that he's on his way to fill in for Alpha. Uh, he is the designated AM1 Alpha test driver. Uh, I think <laughs> I think he's done about eight <laughs> eight races so far this year. Unfortunately for him, I believe Marrera is going to be making the uh, step up from AM2. We're just waiting on him to join the lobby. Uh, all the way from beautiful Portugal. Yeah, hopefully he can get in. Shorts with his got against the big boys. Um, got some pretty good pace. Um, around a couple of tracks. Um, he's been chucking along pretty well in AM2, so we'll see how he goes in AM1 if he can get in. Uh, still got seven minutes to do it. Yeah, as we're coming up on Sector 3, uh, we're seeing some traffic build. Uh, Sector 3 really the only redeeming quality of this circuit, in my opinion. But I, I think it's it's extremely tight. Tons of blind corners. Really hard for uh, cars on in-laps and out-laps to see who's coming behind them. We saw one of the Red Bulls have to pull over to a complete stop uh, there to let um, Honda round. And he's not going to improve. Still a 3-4-3 for him. As Alp comes across, he picks up an extra 10th at 32-8. Nothing to scoff at. Still, I mean, over a second ahead of, of our bar at the moment. Going to cycle through here, see if we can find anybody worth uh, worth following. Not that Wing it isn't. Um, he's doing a really fine job right now in P5. And I guess, you know, he's, he's entering Sector 3, so we might as well follow along with him as well. Yeah. Uh, something else with no Nicholas has come out on medium, so he's trying to beat his soft time on the medium. So we'll keep an eye on that time. Um, I'll do that. Interesting. Interesting from Nicholas. Nicholas was uh, definitely. Yeah, Nicholas wasn't a fan. It's gonna be a bad time loss. Yeah, uh, Nicholas wasn't oh, a fan. Oh, oh and wing it. I'm sorry, wing it. This wing it breaks breaks a winglet uh, live. On uh, on air, just for you. Nicholas is on a flyer. I believe he's in the first. 
DRS? He's no, he's a second, 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 okay, second DRS. Huh? Um, he's a camp down at the moment, uh, coming through sector three, which is probably going to be where the tires will be just about the most useful. So he's going to have to put in a good, tidy sector if he wants to improve. Um, not a medium, this could be quite handy for the race. Um, but. Yeah, you could cut it yes, into a one stop, but I think uh, ideally this is a two stop race. Um, typically, oh, we. Oh, yeah, it's a teammate. Traffic. Yeah, it's, uh, it's typically a refresh coming off of a track, Bod and I, but uh, this one, it's it's been about two months, so can't remember it uh, exactly how everything plays out. Uh, I think I did a soft, medium, soft, soft, soft. Like yeah, 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 you won with like a. Yeah, you, you won with like a <laughs> Schumacher and, and Magni Core. Uh, strategy like a four stop um yeah um, i think it was from memory it might be a soft to hard um yeah, I, th I think a soft medium with a safety car or two is a stretch <coughs> i think um, it's typically a two stop so it's unless you have medium, multiple, yeah it's, um, it's yes yeah, either a medium soft. to hard or a soft soft medium i'm pretty sure yeah it's a really short pit lane as well um should be said it's yeah. uh a pretty quick entry and uh, the main straight is by far the third longest straightaway on the circuit so it's really packed tight only losing about uh, it's probably somewhere between 17 and 18 seconds uh, in the pit stop delta so um, if you do have the balls to go for a medium to hard strategy that could work and that could pay off for Nicholas uh, who is currently in P5 I think a soft, I'm just trying to remember, I remember doing some practice with Arbar and a couple other guys um, before our race aim to a fair while back. I think he tried a one-stop and I tried a two-stop and they were fairly even, possibly the two-stop being a bit quicker. Um, and there are a couple of places you can overtake around here, um, but there are also a couple of places you can lose time being stuck behind someone. So I'll have to see what they choose to do, but I do think a two-stop soft, medium soft is viable if you've got the pace to get past people. Otherwise, medium to hard is generally a fairly safe bet. I mean, track position is always going to be pretty kind of king um, on this game. So yeah, and I think you almost have to, especially in a 18 or 19, we're kind of still waiting on uh, Murray to join, but um, an 18 or 19 car field, I think you would have to almost expect at least one safety car uh, around a street circuit like this. Uh, Two-thirds of it are on the public roads of Hanoi. And uh, I think the third sector is purpose built a little bit like Singapore, um, so it is uh, very easy to to get a slew of safety cars. Really difficult um, if someone makes a mistake in front of you. There's not a whole lot of runoff as evidence for right now uh, around that final corner. R bar uh, improving his time a little bit up to a 33.5 in P3. Um, KD up in P4 right now. His qualifying performances have been pretty strong as of late. Uh, Racing-wise, maybe not so much. But uh, you never know. Not a whole lot of areas to pick up uh, pick up time penalties. As I think it's Matty Rabo. Matty Rabo has joined uh, the official alpha test driver. We were waiting on Marrera, but uh, I guess he, we couldn't get him figured out. So Matty Rabo, the official um, reserve. Uh, is in here. He is the Callum Eilat of AM1. Yeah, so I was just sort of not getting Matt Robo in. Ah. Um, actually, apparently there's no game sound on your stream, so if you hit yeah, it's... On oh, does that work? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. I was thinking it was like the glitch from last year where... Uh, Sometimes it just doesn't work. Katie goes purple through sector two. I think Connor will shout out for that one. Yeah, I saw it as well. I thought it was just the, the usual glitch, but uh, thanks, Connor. Yeah, uh, it's fine. Our, uh, our Karun Shandok uh, working the skyboard in the pits this weekend. Yep. Connor's got us covered. Um, so thanks for that, Connor. Um, anyway, we've got a minute and a half left in Bolly Alba's coming in, so we'll be done for the session. A lot of guys in Outlast ready for their final runs. You guys are on a lap in the lap, though. I'm trying to see where oh, everybody's at. Yeah, Lopez has been disqualified for being parked at the last corner. Oh, boy. So yeah, that, that is... <laughs> well, Lopez does typically enjoy that kind of stuff. Um, so maybe you can make some sort of Frankenstein hard to medium 
formation work. Oh, I guess Lopez, yeah, Lopez was just parked there waiting for everybody to, to get by. Um, but yeah. yeah. I think this this might be a, uh, this might be an Alps special here uh, this afternoon. Not even that long of a runoff uh, into turn one. As Fenrique up into P4 bumps KD down to P5. Alp oh, huge oversteer from Alp. Uh, coming out of the penultimate corner. But he still gets wow. a 32-4. Without that, he probably... Jesus. That is... That is mental. Um, That's uh, solid. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, Honda M now uh, in, into the third sector, or just about. Uh, so he's going to be coming across a wild racing point. He gets by that through the hairpin into sector three. Uh, currently sitting P2 on debut um, here in Contest of Speed. So well done to him thus far. Let's see if he can go one better. Going to be difficult. Uh, Alp has extremely blistering pace. Should be. Uh, it's well documented at this point. Yep, Honda's just going to go ahead and call it. Uh, Nicholas now on softs once more. Getting through into uh into the, the third well almost into the third sector i keep saying third sector even though it's just the end of, of this is who is that i think that's dk i'm not sure yeah I'm not sh there's someone else there as well yeah there well someone else was like go someone else was going in deep to let necklace by but dk was just kind of straddling the um they both went deep the like barriers no i swear uh, i was riding along with uh Swinner. that was on purpose uh, DK though, he was just kind of sitting in in the tire barrier. <laughs> I'm not sure. He might might have lost it, uh, locked up the rears or something there. Um, but Nicholas went purple sector two. Uh, let's see how he does in sector three. Will it be enough for pull? It will not be, but a 32 nine respectable uh, in its own right. Uh, it'll be P2 for the current championship leader, Nicholas. I uh, should probably do a quick numbers crunch after um, JCK might be the last one. Cross, I haven't yeah. seen JCK in a couple weeks. Nice to see him back. Uh, the uh, the young thug, uh, super fan, JCK with a P8 respectable. Look at wing it there in P9. That is that might be his best qualifying performance of the season. Yeah, so that'll uh, that'll wrap her up for qualifying. Uh, same faces, same places, and uh, on the grid we got Alp on pole, Nicholas in P2. Uh, Nick is currently leading the championship, 225 to 166 over Bean, who is in P4. Um, in between those guys uh, is the newcomer, the debutante, uh, Mr. Honda M1, in the uh, should say overall constructor leading Haas. Subtle flicks there. And do it. Yeah, I think it's probably at like 200 points by now. I don't know. I'm just. Trace is usually the guy that posts those. She has in a couple weeks, but don't think it's gotten worse. Um. Yeah. So see all these beautiful different uh, nationalities represented. Of course, Lopez uh, still racing under the Colombian flag because Codemasters uh, refuses the great people of the Dominican Republic. Uh, to be able to it can't be that hard to put their flag in. I mean there there are plenty of extremely obscure uh, extremely obscure uh, countries represented but uh, for some reason the Dominican is not one of them so it's unfortunate but Colombia for various reasons is awesome too um, <clears throat> yeah, of course I'm, I'm talking about James Rodriguez oh you're making on yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Top ten on softs. Um, my guess is they'll. Oh, bit dark. Um, my guess is they'll probably go to about lap eight, maybe nine. I think on fresh softs you could do you could push it to ten laps. Um, but on the closed softs, they're only going to be good for probably four or five laps. Yep. Um, you can do an eight lap stint at the start of the race. So I'll be looking probably lap seven if someone wants an undercut. If you're going to go to soft, medium, medium, they'd probably be pitting lap four or five. Uh, but a soft, medium, soft, you probably have to wait till eight um, to make it happen. Yeah. Uh, so and I'm not sure. 
especially uh, what we typically see in, in both AM1 and E1 especially, uh, is just real break, breakneck pace. You know, to start these races, it's, it's almost impossible uh, to save those front tires for um, anything over the minimum uh, that they can give, uh, just because they're, they're pushing so hard. Uh, side by side, um, as we get ready for the formation lap, I suppose I should run through the order officially as we look up the tire choices for all drivers involved. Yep, on pole for uh, probably the billionth time in his contest of speed career. Uh, Alp, uh, P2, Nicholas, championship leader, Honda on debut in P3, and the Haas, Bean, P4, Arbar, P5, Fenrique, P6, KD, P7, JCK, and P8, Wing it, P9, Bursey, P10, good qualifying from him. DK and P11, Mitch also on debut in Haas in P12, Swarner P13, Ant in 14th, Clay in 15th, Fatal 16th, Venus 17th, Lopez disqualified from qualifying, so he'll be starting on the hards as expected uh, in P18, and the Matty Rabo late joiner uh, is cropping up once again in the Alpha in P19, so. Did you just get a weird flash of sunlight on the track? I don't... I don't think so. For about, for about half a second on my screen, the sky just got like really light and the conditions like it was like a full sunny day. And then it went back to being grey. That's a glitch I haven't seen. I mean, you can trust Cody to throw something. Um, oh. Something that you... But yeah. Anyway, looking at the tyres, one is elected to go for fresh softs. He loves the best tyres a lot. Um, most of them have gone mediums outside the top 10, with the exception of Amp and Lopez, who look go. Hard. So that'll be one stopping it pretty much for sure. Um, and it's really important for them to not get damage or put them in yeah, the wall at all. It's going to be a um, real melee. It. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's yeah. going to be a real melee through the first four corners here. Very tight, very winding, uh, abrupt. And especially with 19 cars on the grid from the back, you might be better served just to let everyone in front of you have it uh, have it out. Um, that's it said. One of the worst. But first five corners it, complexes it makes um, no sense trying to race someone. it, so it makes be, absolutely no sense yes it'll be weird um, and very difficult I think um, but we'll see how they go um, caution will be the way to go I think although as you did mention before caution is not generally <laughs> what is seen um, for the front guys they will go for it push hard um, that's the <laughs> racing in this too good so we'll have to see what kind of approach they take there are guys who can afford to take a bit more risk than others. It's true. As we're uh, sitting here waiting, I can hear the numbers and I see the revs. Don't see any lights, but I think yes, we are off. As Alp gets a not great start. Look at Honda there, almost oh, four wide with KD um, into <laughs> into turn one. Uh, and we are already mixed up on the grid uh, with the scoreboard. I apologize for that. Bursey is not Ooh, in the lead. Contact with the racing points, and I think that's going to recast to cut the corner there. I'll probably get a warning for that. We'll definitely get a warning for that. A couple guys side by side, back with Venice and wing it. Um, but yeah, the racing points make a bit of contact, almost turning each other. Um, that's put being oh, down God. a tiny bit. Arbo and Dave's cave made up a spot, um, which is good. Okay. Um, oh, and that's. Okay. And is someone around at the back? No, they're not. That's just sounded good. No, the yeah, there, there was a winglet. I believe uh, we were just saying Ant can't really afford to have too much damage. Uh, that right front end plate oh, yeah. is gone. Um, as That's a lot of damage. just one end plate. Yeah. As, um, yeah, Lopez and Mitch battling out at the back now. It looks like we're back to normal up front. Out, oh. up to his old tricks. Is, oh, we've got a bit of a car park there. A couple of guys running to back each other. Probably just dodging damage. I think the two... Alpha oh to god, look at, look at this boy. Swarner oh, sitting it up the okay. inside on KD, some huge wheel banging involved, and I think that's work. Bursey and KD around. Oh, yeah. Bursey's gonna have to back out, he's gonna have to pit after that. And this is not the section you wanna get stuck behind somebody with wing damage, I can, I can tell you that. Yeah, as soon as you see it going side by side through there, you know something bad's gonna happen. Oh. He's gonna go the piece, he's gonna take the Juventus with him as well. Um, He's just managed to avoid the pit lane. Yeah, that's the second uh, time we've seen that happen to a Mercedes this year. Uh, yeah, that makes <laughs> <exhausting>. <laughs> Luckily, he was able to get out of it in time. Um, 
via Medi Rabo. I think Ant is in the pits. That's tough for his future prospects, but uh, like we mentioned a few times already, uh, safety cars are uh, in the cards very much so. Uh, up at the front, Alp, um, not in the lead. He's actually in P2. Don't uh, listen to the scoreboard, uh, but Nicholas with a little bit of a gap there is out really gets a great um, into that sector, into this roundabout um, that looks um, phallic in nature but uh, Honda is actually right on the back of Alp uh, it's just running through things have seemed to settle down uh, at least you would expect but Fenrique here on KD uh, these guys will definitely be mixing it up a little bit if we can get the drone state spawn off. What's this going to be the play here? Fenrique is going to have to back out of it. KD might have a look around the outside, but you can't really get it stuck Ooh. there because um, the corner is that tight. Um, it's hard I think Fenrique is going to have a run out of here. It's going to be on the outside, but it is a fairly wide corner with a deep traction zone. See if he hangs on to it. I think KD's just going to have to back out at this point. Yeah, that's tough yeah. for KD. Fenrique. Uh, yeah, yeah, biggest biggest winner actually Swarner in across all divisions. He is leading on most positions gained. I don't know if that says something about his starts or his qualifying, but uh, he's up five. He is up P six here uh, this evening. Matty Rabo up to his old tricks as well. He's in P, he's up five spots up to P fourteen from last. Uh, is fatal. His pit must have picked up damage somewhere. Uh, looking like a bad day for the Ferraris already. I mean, Mitch. Ah, yeah, I wonder, if, they, wonder if they've got, yeah. I wonder if they've gotten into each other, but uh, as we stand now, I believe Nicholas has broken DRS on lap three, so uh, that is probably what was the most pertinent issue for Nicholas in the opening stands of this race. He is already uh, one second ahead of Alp, and Honda will have DRS, and he will be able to attack. Uh, from behind the truck. I believe Arbar and Bean. Yep. Going back here. Arbar, not sure if he's going to defend too hard. Discretion is the better part of Valor. There's really no point at, uh, at this stage of the race to even try. Or you could just let Bean out break himself. Um, sorry, Bean. I know you're listening. But um, Arbar, with the switchback. Uh, easy as you'd like from him. Fatal has picked up a three second time penalty, probably on exit of the pits, because that is very finicky around here. Yeah, uh, looking at the map it might actually be the second roundabout thing. Uh, I don't know what you actually call it. Um, <laughs> I, but yeah, um, Henrique gets yeah. born as well as um, Juventus looks like he's struggling. He just got past Clayfunk, who's now going to get overtaken by Matty Robbo, and they are both understeering like crazy, so I wonder if they've got some damage. Um, oh yeah, Claypont's missing a big chunk of end play. Um, so something's happened there. I don't think it was contact with the overtake, so he may have hit the wall somewhere. Um, not too sure there. Beans on the back of Alba still those two. He's probably going to be likely to make a move. Um, P4. Yeah, and they've got a big gap ahead to Honda, so the top three have gone. Um, we'll just have to see if Beans can do anything about getting by Arba and maybe starting to catch that gap. Uh, there's more fighting, and DK's gone round. Um, oh, no, not DK. Oh. Uh, he's picked up 10 seconds for, obviously, um, cheating. <laughs> no, that's just... It was absolutely. all part of his we plan. Saw Bursey, we saw that at Bursey in um, Zambolt, remember, as well, yeah. when he went yeah. on. Just stuff that doesn't make sense, but DK now on the back foot. Oh, P2 as well. Honda gets up. Oh, did he? Oh, I'm looking over here at the yeah. uh, at Art Barn. And he gets up as well. Yeah, I think Bean's going to have a second bite at the cherry here. Let's see if it works a little bit better. Arbar goes deep. I um, believe... BSC. Yeah, Bean's going to have that. Um, where was that? Who I can't even tell. Um, it might have been uh, Williams. I saw going slowly. I'm not too sure. Um, out of the second roundabout thing. Um, I think I saw... Oh, DK, had, DK yeah. doesn't have a front wing. So I think that oh, yeah, might have been, been yeah, it might have been DK and Clay. Um, now without, well, I guess he was missing that left uh, end plate. Couple guys hitting. Interestingly enough, uh, lap four early, but uh, with the VSC, these guys might be able to bank a couple seconds. Uh, let's see what the tire choices are for these uh, front runners here. 
Uh, Nicholas onto the mediums, out part of the hards. Uh, that is interesting as he comes out inside of a Williams. Uh, that is um, kind of hot. But I think, I think that's a really bold play from B, from Alp. Um, did not see that happen. Arbar, yeah, Arbar's done it as well. Fenrique as well. Yes, Warner has as well. Uh, I guess I probably just hate this circuit so much that I never really decided to put in the laps on hards. Um, not sure how long you can take them, um, but perhaps even even without a safety car, maybe you can stretch these things 23, 24 laps. Yeah, I thought it was going to try to stop me. It definitely won't make it. Yeah. Um, so we'll probably see them go till about lap 18 or 19, possibly 20 if they can, and then put softs on and have a blast, blast in. Uh, but Elton's going to play the long game. If he can keep up and save a bit of those tyres, it should be alright. Yeah, um, Nicholas... Yeah, Nicholas is going to have to... These guys are yeah. playing Frogger right now down the back straight. As uh, Nicholas is going to have to make up as much time uh, if he's committed to this two-stop as he gets over the uh, the tall outside curb. And I think Juventus is just going to back out. Of, I think he knows this isn't his race right now. Um, he's also struggling for traction on these mediums. Um, as Matty Robbo now in P5 right up against him. All that dirty air from the back of that Mercedes. Uh, not going to be... Not going to be making Matty Rabo's uh, front wing too happy, but uh, yeah, this is really this sure. is yeah this is good news for Nicholas though he may have just gotten himself an extra second uh, to Alp here uh, just based solely on this battle that's happening in front of him. I reckon even more because Alp can have to get by Matty Rabo who left DRS as well, so I mean that gap's already two and a half seconds between Juventus and Nicholas in about half a lap. Um, well, actually, really, a sector. Um, like, Matty Robert's going to get a run on Juventus, and Alp's probably going to... Yeah, I think Alp's going to get both. Well, theoretically, he can get them both. Is he going to go gonna for try. it? He's going to oh, try it down boy. inside. Juventus squeezes Matty Robo, and he has to back out of it. A bit more contact. Juventus mm. is deep. Alp is deep. Um, Juventus comes to the corner and gets no, That's, that's not good news for Matty Robo either. Um, this is going to allow... Ooh. Ooh. Lopez. They're backing up behind as well. Wow. Right, we, uh... That's gonna uh, that's gonna make Lopez uh, pray to uh, to the Mexican predator himself. B, uh, so he's gonna get that move done easily enough around the outside. Juventus uh, is gonna get Alp back again. Alp on the brakes. Can he get it stopped? He can, but Juventus around the outside probably will get better traction now. Oh uh, man! He does. He ultimately loses it into the wall. Wow, that was close. Um, he's close. held on to P7. Maybe Rob isn't clean a bit. That's important again, Nicholas Elf having to stick behind Juventus again. Good gracious. Look at this. Why did they put Nick off on the wall as well? But that gap now five train. seconds between Juventus and Nick. Yeah, that is that is good news for Nicholas's uh Nicholas's race. But really, um, all the way back to P ten, this is a seven car train right now. Um Yarno truly looking on with uh, smiling eyes. Yes, he sees Ooh, this. Uh, Matty Roberts the inside wall of the last corner. Oof. That's going to let Bean through. And Alp's going to send it in turn one as well. Yeah, I think Bean. He's just going to get a stop. Yeah, I think uh, Bean pretty much followed him. Same exact move. Uh, synchronized swimming from these two. Now, Arbar, uh, back in this train, he's definitely going to want to get past Matty Rabo. Uh, he wants to keep up with the leaders. Uh, at least the net leaders, I should say. Uh, a la Bean and. Help. Yeah, he bounces like he's struggling a little bit on those older hearts. Yeah, and he's, um, I think Bean's going to have the traction there to, to get him on the inside. Or on... Oh, oh gosh. Maybe not. not. Why? But he should have DRS. You can see he's using that battery. Yeah, um, but look at this. Look at this right. pack up. Look at this pack up. Matty Rabo now. Uh, right on board with Juventus. I mean, not Juventus. Uh, Arbar. Oh, Is he watching... Nowhere to go. Down the inside of one. Down the inside of two. Can he get the car stopped? Uh, oh, it's contact um, between Bean and Juventus. Oh, no. Oh, that's, and, uh, that's, oh, that's tough. Round. Oh, no, he saved it somehow. Yeah, that is, oh, <laughs> man, that is unfortunate out. for Bean. I think, I think Juventus there was looking at his inside, uh, looking at... Uh, 
looking at Matty Rabo and kind of forgot that Bean was still around his outside, kind of put him in the wall. Uh, Bean now missing that right front end plate. Um, that is not going to be good. He's immediately into the pits. I think he'll probably throw on the hards and try to take it to the end. Uh, now, uh, to salvage uh, some, which should be some pretty decent points as long as he stays out of trouble. I want to smack the outside wall. I don't know who it was. It might have been Juventus. Um, I can't see any damage on either of them. Oh no, yeah, Juventus has front wing damage, so he's just lost a chunk of front wing on the exit of the last corner as well. He's heard a big thump, and now Penrique will get through as well, so you, they're all now clear of Juventus, but um, it cost a couple of front wings, a couple of things. Start on those mediums, so they'll be far from ideal, although still should have plenty of life. But fresh tires be a lot quicker around the track, it kind of demands so much of the tires. Um, but now with damage, you probably is gonna have to bail on the strat and maybe go a soft medium or medium soft rather than soft soft, um, or try and bail out early on hards, depending on what he wants to do. Yeah, an absolute variation of strategies um, coming to the four here in Vietnam, which was, I think, always going to happen. Um, is Arbar going to be able to get around? Maddie. Yep, he's going to make that stick uh, for P5. Unfortunately for him, Alp has pulled out to about a two-second advantage. Um, he is now trying to catch Winget, who has got to be nearing the end of the lifespan on these softs, uh, lap 9. Honda is well up there. Uh, yep, there's Wing It. Honda's going to stay out one more, and he's got a gigantic lead. Uh, Twelve and a half to Nicholas. Um, not really sure how this is all going to play out, bud. I'm trying to do the math in my head, but to be honest, I am basically a sixth grader when it comes to math, so I'm probably not the best guy uh, for, for, for these equations. As we get the helicopter shot down the... Uh, you call that the first or the second DRS straight? I never know what the what the, what the main straight here. It's so short, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I say the first, the first back straight. How about that? Oh, beautiful! As we get a lovely shot of uh, the Vietnamese national football team stadium. Now, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that because Vietnamese. Let me tell you, do not understand that language. That is insane. Uh, a lot of weird lines and stuff. But. Nonetheless, Fatal yeah. has backed out. That is unfortunate for Fatal. Um, and unfortunately for him, just been seeing that way too much. Uh, just no luck whatsoever this year for the defending AM2 champ. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the play for Honda is here because he's kind of stayed out for too long to make a two-stop bible. Maybe he's going to lose big time now. So if he's going to try and push for hards, um, should see him in. He's yeah, in. I, I know he. Um, I mean, he knows that Nicholas behind him is on a two-stop. So uh, let's actually go back to uh, let's go back to him and see if he. Uh, you would have to assume these are going to be hards. Uh, yeah, it's probably logical now. I think you've, there's no point to stopping because of that time loss um, on those extra laps of softs. Yeah, um, that looks like it is hard. Yep, that yeah. is the white walled hard tires as Nicholas inherits the lead. Uh, but he is on a two-stop. Remember that at home, folks. He is... Uh, or oh, Alton he's... Honda are going to be close, but Honda should get in. Yeah, yeah, he does. yeah you just see that Absolutely. little white dart uh, go across the screen. That was uh, that was the Haas of Honda. Um, Fenrique makes the move on Matty Rabo through that... Uh, that first section that pretty much looks like it was uh, scrabbled together by a small child uh, and uh, he is now up into P5 looking pretty strong uh, Nicholas now the only one in the top five who is going to be going for that two stop at least voluntarily uh, so we'll see how that plays out but he does have an eight second advantage over Honda right now as Alp is about three seconds back from that and Arbar about three seconds back from that from a little over two seconds back from P4 Matt, yeah Maddie's gonna have DRS yeah yeah I think unfortunately Fenrique might be a little bit out on an island Fenrique's gonna squeeze him up against that outside wall and he's gonna get the traction that's gonna allow JCK uh, to hopefully get up to the back of that. We might have a bit of a DRS train forming here. Um, KD is behind that, but he is another three seconds back, so... 
have to. Maddie has to pick you up. So you expect him to be a bit slower, but still looking okay. Um, you can see a bit of honesty now in that first sector. Um, yeah, and the, dirty and the DRS is so OP in that uh, that last DRS straight. Uh, it is uh, really powerful. It just kind of sucks you into that hairpin. So, not really a surprise, I don't think. I think JCK right now is on the back of Matty Rabo as they finish out the uh, the first DRS straight. Oh, got me inside. Ooh, Ant with five second time penalty speeding in the pit lane, not great. It's very easy to do here. Um, yep. JCK with a good good job getting around there. He's going to have DRS as well uh, to help fend off any counterattacks uh, from Matty. Huh. Uh, really interested in looking at this gap uh, between Honda and Nicholas. I think Nicholas is still going to be in pretty much prime um, medium territory. So he should be able to at least get this gap out a little bit more uh, as I I think Honda came out eight seconds behind. It's now about eight and a half seconds. Alp um, kind of stabilized. I think uh, Alp would have probably wanted to get a little bit here, uh, a little bit more on Honda's first uh, on his first laps on those cool cars. But nonetheless, we march on. I think uh, Juventus and Lopez back here going side by side. Uh, Lopez on the softs. Definitely not what he was hoping when he started this race from P18 on, but on the hard tires. Uh, but as we anticipated, there was uh, quite a bit of shenanigans uh, at the start of the race. Matty Rabo somehow gets past JCK again. Oh, it's because uh, Matty Rabo took the shortcut. He's playing Mario Kart. Ooh, just yellow. just can't really the pace at the end of the He's back on the track now. I'm not sure what that was about. Uh, maybe she start breaking himself, but he was a long way off. He was a very, very long way off. Weird. Uh, this track's so broken. You can take so much of both of those curves in the chicane. This Honda power slides to that full throttle right-hander on these cold tires. Uh, Lopez with the fastest lap at a 37.3. Uh, and honestly, that uh, that probably has a pretty good chance of sticking around as long as Matty Rabo and Ant uh, don't have anything else to save for it. Maybe Nicholas is going to come back with softs uh, for his final stint, depending on how long he can take these mediums. Uh, remember, these guys did pit on lap 5, uh, so it was pretty early, even a little more early than uh, you would typically expect because of the VSC. Yeah, it might be a, a medium to medium for Nicholas. It's going to be a stretch to go soft, uh, but he has got some clear air, so he's not going to be struggling with understeer behind people or anything like that, and doesn't really need to push too, too hard, so he's probably still got softs on his mind. Um, but it may be a safer bet for a race win to go into mediums. Um, but I'm sure he'd rather pick up that fast to that point as well, so yeah, I think we'll see what happens. If he can take these to about, I think, probably 17, 18, then throw on the softs, they should be good. And I mean, the softs around here are probably about two seconds quicker a lap than what the older hards would be. So I think that yeah. probably is his goal. But at um, the same time, kind of playing with the fire. He's, he's stabilized the gap, which is good. Uh, eight and a half seconds it has been since Honda came out of the pits, so I uh, can't really complain on that front, but uh, he's probably going to have about ten or so seconds to make up uh, regardless of tires, so I think the softs might be the best play if he actually wants to get the win. As, uh, K KD has caught up to the back of JCK. Yeah, put a couple of sectors. And Darius should be a comfortable enough to move oh, using overtake boy. as well. Whoa, uh, shit. Weaving a little bit. <laughs> um, but they actually get through it without hitting each other. Yeehaw. That was, uh... They're uh, like, slice up each other a little that bit. Was um, but, you know. That was That was something. Uh, we are starting to see a lot of gaps forming throughout the field. Finrique now within a second of Arbar. 
same exact strategies, same amount of uh, laps on these tires, and Fenrique has been clawing Arbard back. It was two seconds. A few laps ago, he's lapping about six tenths quicker per lap. Um, right now, he's now uh, gotten the reward for uh, the fruits of his labor. Uh, he has DRS. So we'll see if he makes a move on Arbar pretty soon. Probably go yeah. back to Medi Rabo and Swinner. These guys are going at it as they come across the start finish line. Medi Rabo, I think, had a better exit to the final corner. I think he's going to be able to get Swinner. No, he's not. Uh, he's going to back out at the last second. Uh, Medi Rabo with a very understated helmet, must be said. Just white and charcoal. Fresh off, you should have to run where well, it's a bit slidey here. There's one against them, give them a nicer line. But you should expect to see maybe Robert get by him on a big straight and then probably gap him by a second in the third sector. Maybe Robert definitely has to stop again. He'll probably go another set of softs. Yeah. Um, we run about lap 20. Um, splitting those stop runs. Ooh, Ooh on the curve. Nice. Yeah, you awesome. don't want to be doing too often. Um, but yeah, that's, that might cost him a lap of clear air. He's probably too far back to get sworn now. Yeah. Um, so not ideal there for Matty Robbo. Um, although he's closing, closing, closing using the battery. He's going to try it anyway. Sends it down the inside. Can he get it stopped? Oh, he's kind of pushed sworn off a tiny bit. Um, that was up for Matty. And Sworn's probably not happy, weeping a little bit. Um, understandably so. Um, but I'm not sure if Matty will redress it. Looks like yeah. not. Uh, Smatter so Robert through. Um, the small one between Pass and Powder, I don't think. Yeah, I think he, uh, he's got to gotta make time while he can, getting a little aggressive there um, on these soft tires. He's got one more pit, and uh, Swinner uh, probably doesn't. So there was quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of uh, need and necessity for, for Matty Robert to get through. Um, Fenrique still in DRS. Um, Arbar with uh, he's saving his ERS to save um, to fend off any Brazilian attacks like he's playing Civilization 6 uh, I think uh, he might be able to get a run but Arbar has so much he's weaving pulling the, uh, the El Sonoma Pagano line uh, down the DRS straight or before the DRS straight um, I'm going to break that OP power up. I think uh, Fenrique down into, the, into first gear uh, through that hairpin. I'm not sure if that is what he was trying to do. Possibly just get a bit more rotation. Short yeah. shift up the second. You're not really flooring it in first gear by any means, but yeah, no, he's looking alright, but just not quite quick enough for the areas where it matters. Arba is getting good exits onto the straights, which is really the only place to get past, and although the straights, like that, that straight is long and potentially a really simple move. Um, Arba seems quite good on the exits of the roundabout bits. Uh, as I say that, he put stuff on up, but um, he's doing well enough for now. Uh, Fenrique just, yeah, you can see again through the last couple of corners, no real chance to get by into turn one. Yeah. Arba getting a good run, so Arba's doing everything right. Um, possibly down to setup, maybe Arba's running a bit less wing. I know you can choose to run a lot less wing and go for those straights. Um, or you could put a little downforce on for one lap pace. Um, yeah, so maybe it's a little bit of that as well. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because oh, he's the wall. Is that it? damage not visible? Could potentially be lime green. I know sometimes lime green and even yellow damage doesn't necessarily show up on the car, but um, that's not going to help him. I would not recommend hitting any more walls, buddy. Yeah, not um, great. You can see, Abba uh, got the gap there. Nine tenths onto the straight. It might just be enough. So, yeah, Abba doing well. But he is yeah. losing a lot of time top three still. That gap's kind of gone from four to seven the last six, seven laps. Yeah, I think uh, I think for the both of these guys, without a safety car late, um, this is definitely going to be... Um, this is basically for P4 um, at the end of the day. I think Nick yep. even probably has enough time now. Where once he does pit from those mediums is Fenrique uh, with a tank slapper. Um, I think Nicholas is probably going to be able to catch these guys even if he does come up behind. Uh, so... Ooh. Venice and Mitch Burns down the bottom have put softs on. I think it's a bit early, 12 laps. They're going to be very warm by the end of the race, but I'd expect to see Nicholson either at the end of this lap or the end of the next lap. I'm um, just looking at the tire wear on this telemetry. 
the guys who pit the mediums under the VSC, um, they're sitting right about the low mid 50%, so far from optimal. Um, the hard tyres are sitting around about low 40s. The hards are still wearing, um, and in all honesty, they might not be that fantastic at the end of the race. Yeah, we might be um, in uh, puncture territory the last couple laps for some of these guys that threw them on on lap I four. Because um, we didn't... 12 lap old tyres for looking at Arba and Penrique, um, who did pin under that BSC for hards. 12 laps at 43%, and they've still got 11 laps to go. So they're going to be in the 80s, so... Or just about the 80s, high 70s, and that's definitely puncture territory. So not even safe for the hard guys, I don't think. I uh, can't see Honda's tyre wear, um, unfortunately, but... Um, but yeah, Nicholas might, to be honest, have the strategy to pit and come out probably just in front of Arba, I'd like to say, with the pit lane being so short. Um, maybe just behind them, but you should have the tyre pace plus potentially the like the risk of the front guys on the hards having to take it a lot easier than they would like. Yeah. Um, and with the DRS, all, all you would have to do on the fresher tyres would just be to, yeah. to get there. So that's a Ooh, big, that's a big warning for Honda. Um, yeah. The yellows. Um, DSK and KD having a big batch and a half, but I'm not sure if they were the cause of the yellows. That might have been Clay and Mitch Burns, perhaps. Um, Katie gets through, but um, yeah, it's hard tyres, not safe. Um, these two are on medium, so they're going to have to stop again, KD and JCK. Um, as Nick does pit now, and Honda did pick up a penalty as well, I'm not sure if you call yeah. that. Um, yeah, that's not going to help with yeah, Hang First on. three seconds, just checking through the field. There aren't a whole lot of opportunities uh, around here. Um, as Nicholas has thrown on the softs. So, yep. uh, get ready for some fireworks from Nicholas here coming out. P3 able to stay ahead of Arbar and Fenrique in this little battle pack. That is huge for Nicholas. He comes out um, right, yeah. five and a half seconds behind Alp with tires that should theoretically be around two seconds faster per lap. Um, so this is going to be uh, very interesting. Yeah, he's only come out, what, eight seconds off the lead or so. Um, which is really good. I thought it'd be a little bit more than that. Yeah. Um, so Nick looking really, really good. He should catch Elf in the next probably two or three laps. Um, he's got tire advantage. When they start to level out, he should still be able to close the gap on Honda. He'll have... Well, he'll, Honda will definitely be able to go to the end. His mediums are a lot fresher. Um, his hard are a lot fresher. But um, if the solves, solves can hold their pace, then I think he's going to come under major threat from Nicholas. As long as Nick can keep it on track and not get a penalty. Because um, effectively, Nick... Well, Alp and Honda are about three seconds apart now, so if Nick can catch this 4.85 seconds, um, Nick could effectively be a winner. <laughs> um, yeah. And comfortably. Yeah, I think uh, yep, he can already... Well on track, by the way. Uh, I think that's Clay. Mm. Sorry, I was just on board with Nicholas, and he ran over a bit of front wing in the third sector. Ooh. Yeah, that is Clay, that's um, unfortunate. Clay's the wall, he's yeah. Bummer for Clay there. Uh, probably wasn't looking at points um, anyways but uh, still probably one of the stronger performance than a DNF uh, as we all do Nicholas down to three seconds already uh, he can start I think on the straightaway here he's gonna be able to see Alp uh, there he is Alp in the distance that big old orange car excuse me papaya the papaya car uh, you can see that, and uh, he now uh, can now sense the uh, the blood in the water. Uh, I'm what sure color would you call the Red Bull? I would probably call that a navy blue. Um, maybe just a dark blue. It's, it's a little darker. Um, the navy. orange is papaya, and the blue just gets dark. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I preferred it when when McLaren had a little bit darker blue, but um, you know, a little more royal blue. That's okay as well. Um, would prefer to have out maybe had a helmet that matched. Uh, that would have been pretty cool. Finally. Sorry to jump in there, but they are going wheel to wheel. And this is probably the best chance that Fenrique's got. He's made the most of it. Yep. Yeah, and uh, Fenrique's really burnt off all his ERS. And I think I'm going to probably ride along with Arbar now that he's in the other, uh, in the other shoe here. Uh, as, as Fenrique... Um, has, I would assume, considerably less downforce 
on his car because this is where our bar was making up all the uh, all the ground beforehand. Um, he just he's done a great job at saving his ERS as well. Nicholas, uh, no surprise there. 35-2 that he puts in the fastest lap of the race. A small orange car is now a big orange car. Yeah, that was Three quick. Laps yeah, what was about, yeah, yeah, two seconds a lap. Yep, about about that. Easy. Um, yep, Alp has nothing here. Uh, gotta be honest, I thought it was a master stroke by some of these guys throwing on the hards, trying to make it a one stop. But yeah, Nicholas, um, just out of uh, raw pace, uh, he should. Well, he is in the lead right now, technically with Hodan's uh, two seconds time for him. So. The rich get yeah, richer, yeah. but yeah. the rich just keep on getting richer. What can I say? So, yeah, no, Nicholas does very well. Got the strat right. It's not often you see Nick um, with a question for strat. He tends to get it pretty well on point um, most of the time. Um, Alp's not going to make it easy for him, of course, but with that tire difference, it's not going to have much to fight with. But um, yeah. two stop, um, yeah, as mentioned in qualifying, it's going to be quicker you can get through the track and the fact that Nick is quick enough to not have much traffic to get through I mean, you can see it really paying off so you can keep that in mind if you can find a bit of clear air definitely to stop this one it seems might be the way to go even with the virtual safety car the time gain that some of these guys got from that it's still not going to be enough to match Nick um, on that boost stop so that is definitely something worth noting down um, they'll probably get one more league race um, kind of per league before it is removed off the calendar for the next game um, yeah, maybe a bit of a learning lesson for those guys in the strap, but Nick has got it spot on with his right behind Honda already. Uh, yellow. Yellows, that might, Is that that might be Ant, I think. Mm -hmm. I think he might have gone around at the first complex. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, I think that was. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, unfortunately for Ant, he actually did show a little more pace. Uh, I think he and he and Clay are kind of both in, in the same category, and Mitch might end up being there as well. Uh, takes a takes a few races to kind of get your groove, especially in a category this competitive. Um, but small incremental improvements, uh, all you can really hope for. Bursey holding on to that last points paying position as Nicholas has got it done on Honda. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, he's, he's going too fast. He's going Enrique too fast. Nicholas. I'm sorry, Enrique and Arba, my bad. Swapped over again, but Enrique's probably going to fight him back again. Um, Arba got through at that mini Dera zone um, between his turn 5 and turn 6 there. But Nicholas, um, why did he say Nicholas? Enrique now getting down the inside of Arba in the Mercedes. Ooh, double lock up. going to go around the outside, and Enrique will keep leaving the space, which is good. Oh That's no, Enrique like, oh, loses Enrique it! Enrique lost enough damage. That's uh, big damage on the left hand side, that's more than the end fight. Yeah, that might be a pit oh. right now for Finrique, that's tough. He's looking at a P4. Um, have, he might be able to stay out ahead of Bean actually, 20 seconds is the gap, yeah. so it might not hurt him in terms of position, but it's cost him any chance of P4. Yeah, 20, but look at, how, look at how slow he is through this third sector, this rhythmic. Uh, left, right, left, right, left, right, he is in the pits. Uh, I don't think he would have been able to hold off even 20 seconds here with only 6 left to go. Uh, that was... Oh, probably some action down here as well. Wing it, Bursey, maybe Robbo. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Yeah, Wing it and Maddie Robbo have both got through there. Bursey on some old and mediums. Wing it and Maddie Robbo have since pit for softs. Um, last lap, I think. So they've hold, held out a fair while to go onto those softs. Um, but looking pretty nice there. Yeah, Wing it um, looking for uh, for back to back points. They're out there in P10. Honestly, not, not that far behind being able to get JCK, who's now right on the back of KD. These guys have been going at it for about 10 laps, uh, just like Finnick and Hondo. Well, um, with that front wing change, yeah, he has lost out a bit more than I uh, originally calculated. I haven't done that since primary school either, pretty much. Or yeah, high school, I, I did a bit. <laughs> but yeah, with that front wing change, now P9. Probably should be able to get himself back up to P7. Um, particularly with the two penalties the guys in front of him have. Um, so he'll definitely get P7. Oh, JCK with uh, a big move up the oh, uh, yeah. inside through there. Uh, really cut that corner. I think he caught KD off guard. And now Fenrique is arriving yeah, on the yeah. scene. Is he going to go three wide? He's going to have to back out. There's no way there's yeah, yeah. going to be enough room for these three. Follow over at the RS. Whoa, <laughs> but I think, yeah, but I think he's he is going to be able to get KD. Damage. 
not much to save on gold there as well. Oh, just from that? So I, that wonder if he, I wonder if he might have hit the diffuser there of, uh, uh, of JCK. Not sure if that happened there or if it happened earlier. Uh, the Fenrique on the charge now. Yeah, not sure there. Oh, KD did. Actually, I reckon he picked it up earlier because KD did have a bit of a gap to JCK after the last pit stops. Um, so I reckon he did lost somewhere a few laps ago. Um, but yeah, from Rick and out of P8, probably with P7, probably will have time to get Spawner in P6, particularly if those hards do start going really, really off. I'll check the tyre on those again. Um, but from Rick, I possibly P6 still on the cards. Um, yeah, it would be a nice comeback. <laughs> um, so it's reading this Alp Arbar Spawner, I can see they are in the low to mid 60% with still five laps to go. So. <laughs> This could get interesting. Yeah, puncture territory is going to be anywhere over uh, 70 as uh, Fenrik has got to dispose of JCK real quick uh, around turn two. Um, yeah, you, you, I guess you have some uh, some pretty recent experience with that. Yeah, we puncture, love old tires. Puncture territory. <laughs> um, yes. Don't watch um, the AMT races. Hungry. Or you can. Um, really, really shocking race to watch, actually. Um, I'll definitely skip that one over. Um, unless you want to see a hit masterclass, um, then definitely go watch that in that case. Uh, <laughs> anybody can, anybody can feel free. <laughs> anybody can feel free to uh, listen to me. As Fenrique disposed of Swarner as well. Uh, now that yeah, Toro Russell has gone up to P6 quite quickly. Yeah. If you want to watch my stream of it, I was pretty much just singing the entire time. I was. Uh, He's out for a nice Sunday draft, just hanging out. Uh, but on a Tuesday. Well, yeah. Well. Or Wednesday, in my case. Or I mean, hey, you know what? It's it's a holiday this week. Okay, I mean, so every day is a Sunday for me. Uh, only I don't have to work the next day. <laughs> but uh, but Alf, um, speaking of holidays, uh, speaking of Thanksgiving, uh, the man from Turkey. P3 is slowly gaining back on Honda M for P2. Uh, he does have it uh, based on penalties, but I'm sure he would much prefer uh, to get that on track. Uh, Honda, even though he does have that three second time penalty, um, an absolutely fantastic debut performance. He said he was fast. Uh, you weren't lying. Oh, Lauren Dace can make some contact with first complex. Gosh, yes, yeah, um, with the three second time penalty. going wide and Three, or turn three, sorry, uh, between turn two and three. I'm not sure if that, um... Ooh, just oh, just going to lunge up there. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, I'm not sure if that little roundabout counts as two corners being two apexes or just the one, but JSK getting through now. Pressure soft compared to old hards. One is just going to have, just about going to have the worst of the lot. Um, ties that pretty comfortable move there. Both of them have penalties. Um, they're both three seconds as well. Um, all those penalties you see there are just three seconds with the exception of Juventus first 12. Um, just an FYI, but um, JSK up in P7 and probably will stay there. Um, Ooh, three, 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 three. Plenty of left to go. Locos and Berzy going side to side as well. Um, he's down the field for P11. Oh, it's Berzy going to do a bit boy, of switch back. Send it on the. Oh, and he's going to kiss the wall. Probably gets away with that damage there, yeah, but late yeah, on the break, yeah. can't quite get a stop. Yeah. Nothing quite like a nice double lock up um, to wake up the neighbors. That is. <laughs> Go for it. Sell one from Fenrique a little earlier. I didn't reference it, but uh, it's, high it's one way to get the ladies, but not one way to be fast on a racetrack. No, prob probably not. Um, but who am I? Uh, wing it <laughs> now, closing down on Medi Rabo. He is in net. Uh, actually, net, net P8, I think. Yeah, just just in yeah, P8. With the with, yeah. yeah, with the gaps. A couple really good back to back races. A little bit anonymous from Wingit, but two really good races nonetheless for him. Hopefully he can bring this one home. Uh, and get Team uh, Team Alpine some, some points. Team Ding It. Team Renault. Team Alpine next year. Yeah, no, he's on track. He's had a good race. Nice and tidy. Um, I haven't seen any major dramas from him on that two soft strat. Mm, he had a good um, qualifying as well. Kevin McLean looks like it's going to pay rewards for him. Yeah, he did qualify in the 10 as well, didn't he? Yep. Fenrique um, is... Uh, yellow is and just ooh, bins it in the wall. Oh, oh no. Um, Who's that We are still in safe part there, Tree. Um, yeah, still, we are. Mm, this is probably the last chance. Yeah. It doesn't look like Last I think we laps. probably would have got the notification. We're looking at Fenrique now on Bean. Uh, Bean with a good comeback drive himself. Um, going uh, 
uh, after picking up some damage early on. Uh, he's up in the P6. Good to, to get some points, but definitely not what he wants. Fenrique on a comeback to of his own. These two obviously had a titanic battle last week. Wing uh, one side. Oh, there's contact, and Wingers lost a big chunk of front wing. Going uh, down the inside there, kind of turned into spawn a little bit in the breaking zone, um, and Winger has come off worse, so that could potentially be a P7 in the bottom frame. Um, gets by Spawner, um, as did Matty Robbo, but Winger with a major problem there. Um, he kind of moved back towards the racing line while Spawner wasn't there in the breaking zone, and a big chunk of Renault front wing came off. Um, so that's a shame for Winger. It might be able to hang on to P8, if he can keep Matty Robbo behind him again, but yeah, short-term benefit for long-term gain or long-term loss in this case um, not worth pulling it just rowing on board there um, uh, I, if if okay. anything um, I mean this does kind of neutralize this battle I would assume um, Swanner's on the hards he's been on these hards for 20 laps I mean, he also has a 30 second time penalty but what he's going to have to worry about now is Lopez on the softs as well looking for some points. Lopez now looking at a pretty decent result after his uh, disqualification in qualifying for, uh, I don't know, I guess doing donuts somewhere. Uh, I think out, outside the penultimate corner. Yes. FIO, that is not allowed unless you're the championship leader at the last race. Um, yeah, vir so virtual so Charlie Whiting. Virtual Charlie no, Whiting scope okay. says no, and Winget is going to be blocking. Oh boy! Oh, that's a half. And yeah, and Swarner's, gonna Swarner's just going to yeah. Oh, oh, and he's oh, going to. Oh, he got damage. I think he does. Yeah, he does. Yes. Yeah, not okay. sure. Not sure how the steward's going to feel about that from Winget, but uh, I believe there was a little bit of bad blood brewing uh, there on the on the lap prior that resulted in some wing damage for Winget as well. Lopez right up to the back of him now. And I think he's gonna yeah, be able to so make it good. stick through yeah. there. That is, that is not a place you usually see moves. But wing it with a lack of downforce, uh, just holding on for dear life for the last couple of laps of this race. Um, and a pretty good performance here from Lopez, who will probably gather a P8 in this Swarner's DNF. Uh, Katie's been yeah, lapped. Yeah, yeah Swarner just DNF after that. He's not gonna be a happy camper. Uh, KD goes a lap down. I um, guess I didn't even mention that. And Wingett's now going to have to cut some corners. Uh, and Bursey is going to find himself perhaps picking up a P10. I guess that is a late forming commentator's curse for Wingett. So if you had that one on your bingo cards for our commentator's curses, uh, you can go ahead and cross that one off. Yep, Bursey now yeah. down. Uh, down to three seconds flat. I mean, it should be able to go pretty quick in a straight line, though. Not sure if that's going to help him out too much with Burzy on the uh, on mediums. Yeah. Um, Lopez now looking to try to get within those three tenths on Matty Rabo. I'm going to go up to the front for a second to see where Nicholas is on track. He is heading into... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know how. What word would you use to describe that, uh, Bada? Because all of mine probably aren't PG-13. Uh, it's definitely it's a head of some sort. Uh, but yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this Nicholas has got he's got eight seconds. Uh, not a care in the world right now. Nicholas is going to win this race, uh, barring tragedy. Uh, Lopez has cut that down to two and a half seconds. Uh, Matty Rabo also uh, only within only about two seconds to JCK for P7, but they both have equally out uh, penalties. Yeah, so Lopez needs another second and a half to get P7, which is probably unlikely. He hasn't really taken much out of JCK. But if he can hang on to this, he may he probably get P8. Um, yeah. the, Honda, um, the Honda should be pretty safe for P2. Um, but I don't know, Nicholas. You may as well jump on board. I'm going to find a couple of corners. Got the strat right. Had the pace. It's going to be a comfortable win in the end for Nicholas as well. Absolutely. So and who won. are we to doubt him? Who were we to doubt him? I did not think that would work. At least not that well. But Nicholas does a fantastic job bringing that one home. Honda M on debut for Haas. Uh, finishes a strong P2 qualified P3. 
Uh, gotta be happy with that. Alp in P3 uh, after setting pole. Um, Arbar is gonna come around pretty soon for P4. Who is? What? It's like I'm only three seconds. So from okay, it's quite a pit stop in the last like six laps. Hey. No one here is calling him slow. Yeah, that that was a great bounce back for Fenrique. Uh, pretty much, yeah, pretty much right back to our bar where he started. So, uh, so, so yeah, well done to him. Bean, uh, giving the wall a little kiss uh, in P6. JCK, after taking a couple weeks off and a strong P7 for him. Uh, Medi Rabo in P8, but Lopez is going to inherit that on penalty. And it's going to be Bursey J in P10 after uh, Wingett had a pretty rough uh, final five laps of this race. Yeah. Uh, let, let us know who you guys think the driver of the day is. I mean, we haven't gotten any, uh, <laughs> not a whole lot of traction in the comments here. I don't know, it's a little late, but jeez. Haven't been occupied with that at all. I guess it probably was a little more occupied with the racing anyways. But uh, yeah, Lopez from the uh, from from Codemasters. That is their driver of the day. I would tend to agree. Um, I think you could give a fair shot to Nicholas. Uh, he really made that last stint look uh, about as easy as you'd like it to. Yeah. Um, FYI as well. Fun fact: on the tires, Arba's uh, front are at eighty-five percent. Um, and most of the other guys on the hards were high 70s. Um, so they, they're a bit lucky to have made it to the end, but just paying off there for them. Uh, but Nick, Honda, and Alp will take P1 to 3. Um, Honda good on debut, as you mentioned. Arbar P4, which is around about where he's been most of the season in that kind of P3 to 5 fight. Enrique with a good recovery after um, a mistake fighting Arbar. Back up to P5. Bean, JSK, Lopez, Mayu Robert, and Bersi take the rest of the points. Uh, Fair few DNFs, uh, a couple of guys lap as well. Um, bit of an up and down race for a lot of people. Yeah, on this. Definitely uh, championship leader. Yeah, funnily enough, on this uh, on this Thanksgiving Eve, uh, no Americans in the top ten. So, I guess yeah. that, you know, we're just diminishing in uh, worldwide stature uh, at the moment. Uh, nice sure do, do you have do you have Honda M on? Uh, do you have him added? To, to add him to the party. Uh, I'm sure Nicholas will want to talk and Alp always joins. I'm not quite sure about Honda though. I don't think I've got Honda as a friend. Uh, well, uh, so maybe we can just sort that out next week. Unless he... There, I'll, uh, yeah, while we're doing this here, I'll, uh, I'll send a friend request to him and then... Uh, Maybe if he adds it quickly, be able to get him in uh, prior to everyone uh, starting the interviews. It usually takes uh, about a minute to get Nicholas on Discord because he uh, he's afraid of of microphones. Not sure what the fear is, but I believe about two percent of the Canadian population uh, shares that fear with him. So are we? You know what? Yeah, I'm probably going to go Lopez, driver of the day. I don't know what you say. I would probably go with Lopez. Um, even though it wasn't really a great result on paper. Uh, a lot of dodgems going on out there this afternoon. Yeah, Swarna had a decent race as well. Uh, through the field a bit. So, I mean, the Knicks obviously hard to go by. Um, getting that strat right and winning by a pretty comfortable margin in the end. So couple of well three of those guys are nominated uh, Nick will do an interview as well um, heard from Honda uh, do not believe yeah probably stepped away yeah, yeah we'll get that sorted uh, for next week or the next time he's on the podium I suppose we can probably uh, just rock and roll with with Alp here yeah, let's do it 
All right. Um, well, we'll get cracking then. Out P3. Um, pretty decent tussle with Honda, but he just ended up having the pace on you. Um, some pressure tires towards the end of the race. Um, but yeah, how was that all from your perspective? Just an off day, really. Not happy with my race performance at all. Yeah, we saw you put in a good quality lap, um, but I think that one stop ended up being a bit slower than that two stop. Were you always planning on one stopping it, or did that safety car um, for the VSC kind yeah. of change the plans up, or what would the go? Yeah, so my original plan was to pit around lap 11 for mediums. But, you know, when I saw the VSC on lap 4, I thought the hards were a fairly durable tyre, and that I could gain some time through the VSC, but didn't really happen. I don't know what happened, I just gained nothing through the VSC. I think I was like really bad going through the traffic, so... It's just a poor day all around. I want to forget this. Yeah. No, it's okay, you still got a podium, which is pretty decent, but I mean, for your championship fight, you yeah, probably not don't want to be dropping too many points um, to Nick and Co. Um, but yeah, so you were going to try and do a soft to medium, were you? Yeah. Or a soft to hard? Soft to medium. Uh, soft to medium. Yeah, sort of okay. my fault for not really testing the hards. I thought they were pretty consistent, but at the end of the race, they just died. Yeah, I mean, we saw a lot of guys who did pit under that VSC for hards, um, were kind of in a high 70, low 80% wear. I think our bars had 85% in the fronts, um, looking at that telemetry, so they definitely got got used, um, but didn't, didn't really have much to fight with, with Nick, and then we saw you drop a bit off the back of Honda as well, so... Yeah, not quite coming together there. Um, but, I mean, P3 is still a good effort, um, so congratulations on that one. Um, what yeah. have we got next week? Japan. Um, Japan. How do you how do you go around Japan? One of my two favourite tracks, so really, really looking forward to it. There you go. So we'll see if you can get on the top step then. Um, yeah, it's so been a while. Guys will want to take it off you but I mean Japan is really a track where your skills can shine through um, difficult um, fast and punish you if you get it wrong um, but I mean that's what makes champions isn't it that's what makes race winners so looking forward to seeing you there next week yep thank you All right, well done again on P3 um, I'm going to organise my yelling at my laptop for Nicholas um, we'll get him in for a word as well um, <laughs> no, he did very, very well, didn't he? Um, we've got the voice call up. There we go. Can you hear me, mate? If you want to say something. Nick, you there, mate? Nearly. Technical difficulty sounds... screen. We're getting there, Nick. <laughs> I hear a lot of crunching and squeaking. But no, nothing that is English yet. Ah. He's going to quickly switch his head, um, headphones, so we'll give him a little bit of time, maybe 30 seconds or so, and we'll try and smash through that. I still haven't promised him, I still haven't gotten him those um, earphones I promised to get him into a party. Um, so that's on the to-do list, maybe a Christmas present for Nick and that will save us a bit of trouble in the um, <laughs> Discord call, but we'll see. Just a lot of static at this point. Hello. Hello. There we go. We have English. Good stuff. Um, <laughs> that's nice to hear. Um, well, we'll get into it. P1 on the two-stop strat. Looks like the way to go in the end. Um, were you always planning to two-stop it? Honestly, it was sort of in the moment. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I was sort of going to try and copy what other cars around, around me did. I didn't expect to be leading after uh, the first few laps. And then when the VSC came out, I really wasn't sure whether to go to mediums or to hards, and I took the gamble with the mediums and 
turns out it worked out fairly well. Yeah, I mean, we saw, yeah, a lot of your rivals ended up doing the one stop, and towards the end of the race, um, tyres just fell off, and yeah, yours were just that much better, I guess. Um, managed to get a really big gap in the end to P2 and P3, um, so you must be pretty happy that that's worked out as well as it did, the two stop. Yeah, I, it was a very, very intense race. Around Hanoi, you can never let the concentration slip, and that was just really exciting, and I couldn't be happier with how it finished. Yeah, um, it definitely helps you for your championship as well, with only, I think it's, how many races left? I think it's six races six. to go, isn't it? Yeah, yeah so yeah, you six races. decent buffer now. Um, I guess a few more podiums, a few more good results, and you can just about wrap it up, so... Put yourself in a really good position um, for the last few races, which is great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and you must be pretty happy with your consistency as well. Um, getting, I don't know, just being on the pace, um, really challenging for the wins week in, week out. So, um, yeah, that must be great from your perspective thank as well. You. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's really competitive this season. Like, Alton qualifying was incredibly quick. Like, he was on pole by nearly half a second, and that just shows how good the competition is. So, really quite an honour to be leading it right now. And it really is such a competitive league, and I love racing in it every week. There you go. The kind of stuff you love to hear. Um, but yeah, really, really impressive drive from you. Really good to watch it on the stream. Um, not making mistakes and getting that strap bang on. So, congratulations on another win, um, extending your championship lead and leading into Japan. Um, Alt says this is one of his favourite tracks, so how about you from your end? Yeah, I enjoy the layout. I, it's, I've improved there since 2019, so that's a good sign. But yeah, we'll, we'll see when we, when we go there. I think Alp obviously, if he says it's one of his best tracks, and he'll definitely be one to watch and definitely the one to beat, as he always is. But if it's one of his favourite tracks, then I better get some laps in. Yeah, it's going to be great to see you two go at it. Um, I'll ask you one more question. Um, new driver Honda, he looked like he has a good pace. Do you reckon he can challenge for some wins as well? You probably didn't see too, too much of him, but um, P2 on debut is a good effort. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, a really, really incredible job from him to be out on your debut is pretty, pretty special. So no doubt he'll be able to take wins. It's, it's a bit unlucky for him that he didn't come in under VSC. He did an incredible job not to lose that much time. So to be honest, yeah, I expect he'll be right at the front every week. Yeah, it's good to see. We want to see as many people up there as we can. Um, but yeah, congratulations on your win, and we'll see you next week for Japan. Great, thank you. All right, hand it over to you, Kit, to close things off. Yeah, yeah, as you heard there. Um, Land of the Rising Sun next week. Coming to you live from Suzuka all week long. Um, believe, believe the endurance team is off on Sunday, but uh, we will have a full slate of action from E3 on Monday, all the way through uh, E4 on Thursday. Uh, from a real driver circuit, one of the best in the world. Uh, not one of my favorites, but Alp sounds uh, pretty confident, as he probably should be. Um, but uh, for for Alp Hada, uh, great job on debut, uh, finishing P2, uh, and our championship leader and winner uh, here tonight at Vietnam, uh, Nicholas. Uh, I'm Kid and Petter signing off from Bad Hod. Happy Thanksgiving to all the Americans, even though none of you scored points uh, tonight. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll we'll catch you next time.